Today, we are here for the launching of the first hull of the MPF program, MPF-1. This project is very special because this is the first MPF ever built for the Fast Forward program. And uh, it's the first of its kind, it's the first of long series. We are now engaged in a three MPF of uh, the, the same model, and uh, uh, it's a, the first of a long series. That's uh, one part of the LISA Unity project. After, she's going to receive around uh, 26,000 tons of topside, which is uh, quite remarkable. And then she will sail to, uh, to Guyana uh, to be integrated in a larger field development. Unity is the second FPSO SPM offshore will be building for ExxonMobil that will be deployed in Guyana. Unity is different to Destiny because it's a bigger FPSO with a larger production capacity and the top sites that we're building here at Dynamac are almost twice the size. On May 19, we have started the construction of all the specific components to be integrated on the hull. So that means all the marine structures, all the top sites, and all the vessel uh, components, part of the vessel upgrade, uh, to be done in Singapore. The key advantage of the fast forward philosophy is standardization, engineering deliverables given early, procurement placed early, so we receive it in the yard as soon as possible, therefore allowing us to fabricate these modules in the shortest time frame possible. We have already laid out a few pancakes and already started eight modules. The overall project is running exactly where we want to be. Today we did the first cut steel for the Lies Unity uh, integration steel work at Kebble Fells. Kebble Fells has been the, the first Kebble yard like still today, we have started with the lower riser balcony fabrication, which is the first critical component to be installed during the dry dock. This is a stepping stone for this major component on the FPSO. A few hours after, we have as well started the fabrication of the top sides at the girl yard by cutting the plate girders. For the next six months, we'll be fabricating the riser balcony, mooring porches, umbilical balcony, and then we'll be expecting Lisa Unity to be coming to our dry dock where we'll erect all the fabricated blocks. So Keppel has had a long-standing relationship with uh, SBM and Exxon. We've worked and collaborated with them uh, very closely in the Lisa Destiny project, and we hope to carry this